So I'm here at Target, and I forget which YouTuber I saw posted this, but the Micro Galaxy Squadron Series 5 U-Wing was on sale or clearance. So I found one at Target. I'm checking this out, and it shows up as $8.99. So if you guys find one at your, if you're missing this one, and you find one at Target, scan it. It might be on clearance. So I'm going to pick this one up and I'm going to go to the regular section. I saw a couple of new things. Okay, in the regular aisle, I got Beyblade, Aikido, Gujitsu stuff, Animal Planet, toys. This section has gotten a lot bigger. I'm guessing it sells better? I don't know. Okay, so moving into Marvel. They still have these statues here for 50 bucks. These are not moving. They got that Spider-Man and Cap. They have a small Deadpool down there. And there's a Deadpool up here. These are 30. There's the size difference if you haven't seen my other videos. These smaller ones are 30. And I definitely do not think that uh, Deadpool looks very good. That's probably why it's still sitting here. Got lots of Iron Spider and Iron Man. Oh, there's the Iron Spider. Those are the ones that are always going to be on the shelf. There's one of Captain Count Nefario. Uh, some G.I. Joe stuff. Oh, actually, there's a couple of new Joes on bay, or on the card here. I haven't seen these before. There's Beachhead. That one's pretty cool. That's a new one on card. There's the uh, UPC, if anybody, or barcode, if anybody needs that. And they've got a Cobra. they got a Cobra Eel. Those are pretty cool. Those are new. I haven't seen those. This one's got a lot of nice, cool accessories. Scuba tank and all this stuff. Okay, there's the uh, R code for the Cobra Eel. Okay. And then of course they got Duke and Duke. They got this two-pack. Yeah, those two are new. Uh, they've got, let's see, who's this? Oh, they got Doc. So that's one other thing I noticed. They've changed the packaging in these. It's a little bit shorter, and it's definitely narrower. So it's definitely different. Got to pause for a little shopper there. So there's a Carl Doc Creer, pretty cool. Like I was saying, the packaging has gotten a little bit smaller. I think they're just saving a little extra space. There's the barcode for Doc if you're looking for him. Definitely saves saves uh, space on the peg. Look at the difference. So yeah, there's this two pack. It's been here forever. Uh, there's the Kryptonite Doomsday. Pretty cool looking figure. Pretty big. And it's uh, yeah, I'd say it's uh, maybe just under two pounds. That's a good heavy figure. Okay, nothing over here. It's the same stuff there for DC. What I did see. These are new. Well, well, not new, but it's the first time I've seen these. The non-platinum Kryptonite Superman. And Tim Drake. Oop, I don't know where it comes out the peg there. There we go. It's, let's see here. That's a pretty good looking Robin. Uh, that's kind of tempting because I do have a couple of Batman. That's kind of tempting. In case anybody's looking for that, there's the barcode. And this one's actually got some weight to it. There's the bar barcode for Cyborg Superman. And in case you don't know, the barcode is the same for the non-platinum and the platinum. So you'd have to ask an associate if they don't have them in front of me. If they show us they have like five in store and there's only one out on the peg, you have to ask an associate to find them. Nothing really new in Transformers, I don't think. And then new movies coming out here pretty soon. I've seen this thing all over the place. The party wallop van. Uh, let's see. He's Sonic Prime. Okay, touch something there. Sonic Prime figures. I don't know if those are new. Uh, they look kind of new. I don't know if I've seen those before. Uh, some Sonic bigger toys down there. Sonic the Hedgehog playing in some kind of ball. Uh, Super Mario is on set for 20, we're down for 40, so that's half off. Uh, a bunch of this stuff. Blanky boxes, whatever those are. 
giant milky mystery set. Uh, that could be taken in the wrong way. <laughs> anyway, actually, these are new. Mr. Beast Lab? I don't know. Not for me, but they're different. They're new. And go around the corner here to Star Wars, but I think there's somebody over there, so we'll see. There's Star Wars. And there's that droids pack that I screwed up on. They had that. At one time, that was 20% off. We got some mini figures here, mini Micro Galaxy Squadrons. We got one of the uh, Sith Infiltrators. Nothing else new in the figures. Nothing else really new in Star Wars there. Nothing new Micro Galaxy Squadron. Those uh, other ones, the Wave 6, I guess, was announced recently. Um, if you look up on Instagram, there's also there's a group for Micro Galaxy Squadron, and they post a bunch of stuff. There's the Toilet Taxi, Splinter Skull, and Eva Lynn in, in the cartoon collection. I haven't seen her before. Anybody's looking for her. There is the barcode. I don't know if she's new, but I've never seen her. Man at Arms, Skeletor. Oh, there we go. Skeletor, Man at Arms, and uh, Web Store, way back there. Those are all the cartoon collection ones. Let's see. There's those in Revolution. We've seen these before, but Turtles of Grayskull, this one's a new one. At least I haven't seen it. There's Casey Jones. One Man Weapons Rack. I got Mikey. The heroic captain of Calabunga. He's got a nice hairdo there. Another Casey Jones. Oh, there's a Tila. And a Man at Arms, which Man at Arms has only been around for a while. There's the Tila. She is the shell kicking warrior goddess. Okay, there's the barcodes right there. That's her Tila. Okay. And remember, if you're doing this kind of stuff, be polite. Put your stuff back on the pegs. There's Mikey. He's got the uh, He Man armor on. There's the barcode. And Casey Jones. And be polite to other shoppers. Put your stuff back on the peg so people can find it. And, or, you know, if an employee's looking for it, to pick it up for somebody who's driving up to pick it up. Mutation Station, Turtles Arena. Nothing new for Godzilla Kong. I'm surprised this stuff hasn't gone on clearance yet. I might, if that goes to half price, I might pick it up, maybe. I don't know. Uh, not much else new for dinos, I don't think. Uh, Delta sold really well. Raptor Delta, that one sold really well, that's gone. Uh, nothing really new, there hasn't been anything new in Star Wars, the uh, Hot Wheels Star Wars, for, I don't know, a couple months at least? It's been a while. Um, you know, uh, the man collects found the, uh, tar the Transformer truck and Hot Wheels. If you don't uh, follow him, check out the man collects. He finds all kinds of stuff. That target truck. I didn't think I'd see a transformer here. In my area, there's some pretty uh, serious uh, die-cast collectors, so they're here at the stores right away. I've been told that by several Target and Walmart employees. <laughs> so yeah, nothing else really new in die-cast. And we're going to go over and hit the uh, collector section. Oops, sorry. So evidently I made a mistake, because now these retro Star Wars ones are on clearance for $7.50. They only have Padme and Obi-Wan, which I bought one of each, one Padme for my wife and Obi-Wan for me. And I looked through all these to see if there was, hopefully there was a Darth Maul or a Jar Jar, and no. <laughs> oh wait, there's a couple more up here. Obi-Wan. No, these are the eight different ones. Crud. Well, maybe another Target will have them. Uh, let's see. Bunch of pops on clearance. Uh, that's regular price stuff. And I did find some new pops, but an associate is working over there, so I have to wait a minute or two. But yeah, look at all those Obi Wans. Well, that's one, two, three, four, five rows of them. 
And same with Padme. You got the big pop daredevil on clearance. Uh, let's see. Some of these comic cover ones are on clearance. Those are 20. Well, that one's 20. That one's 14. That one's 14. That's weird. That one's 14. I wonder if this is wrong. Oh, actually. Oh, no, they all do have that. So, yeah, never mind. Who knows? I guess maybe that one with Nightcrawler was more expensive to begin with. So, yeah. Sometimes it pays to be patient, people. You just gotta be, uh... Yeah, you just gotta wait. Okay, so I found some new pops. We got this Iron Man Infinity Saga wave here. We got the Mark V. There's the Mark I. And... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oop. Almost knocked him over there. Mark III. And there's another one. So those are, that's what's in that wave. And they do have the Hulkbuster down here on the bottom. This is a big pop. That's a really big one. Pretty cool though. I don't know if that would work in a black light or not though. I'm guessing it might because of the that coloration maybe. Not really sure. But uh, yeah. So those are new. Um, got the Joker Mobile. They got Ken and let's see. Ken and right Fei Long. Those have been here for a while. They actually have three of the Voltron Lions, the Black Lion. That's pretty cool to see. But I, I haven't seen the uh, other four yet. Well, I saw them like two months ago, but I haven't seen them since. As I guess they're getting reissued now, but I don't know. But that's pretty cool to see. Krusty Doll and the Moe's Phone, which has been out for a while. They've got the uh, Batman Wave 1 animated series. Wave 2 is really selling well. And that's about it, because there's nothing else down here. Nothing in NECA. Uh, no, that virus is old. That's been out for a while. Uh, nothing else new here. British po posed or um, posted pictures of these, the Rat King. And there's the barcode for the Rat King if you're looking for him. Oh, they got this lady. Karai as the Shredder. There's her barcode. And they've got Leatherhead. That one's actually pretty cool, really. So. And there's the barcode for Leatherhead. So yeah, if you guys follow me, follow me for a while, you know I'm into reptiles, so big surprise that I like that guy and the turtles. So. But that will be it for this one. I'm going to check out uh, Ollie's on the way home. I'm at Ollie's and my store finally got the uh, Doom and Captain Marvel pack for 20 bucks. We got like four of those. So that's cool. I'm hoping to see the other one with the Super Scroll and the Scroll Queen. Some Fortnite stuff. They got the Upgrade Shark. Some wrestling figures and Beast Wars. Retracks, Retracks. They have a ton of the Ant-Man. And uh, they got a bunch of Star Wars figures. I'll go show you those. This is one other thing I found. This in another store out of my area. But they got the Owlbear. I had the brown one and the white one. But this is all the white Owlbear. That whole shelf is all the white Owlbear. I mean, look at them all. And I went out, of, went out of my way to find that one. And I got some of the Displacer Beast. This is pretty cool. For ten bucks, can't beat that. I got a couple of those. And let's see. And nothing really here in the game aisle. And I go over here to the Star Wars stuff. I kind of like this, but for fifteen bucks, the, the Ahsoka. Not it's not worth fifteen. Got a bunch of the um, uh, Mission Fleet stuff. Kind of tempted by that one because I'm an Obi-Wan fan, obviously. And for five bucks, it's not bad. I got a bunch of these smaller ones. This is kind of surprising, though, to me. That, like, that one's five bucks. 
and these are five bucks but this set is ten because that one I would probably get if it was five bucks I definitely would but not for ten so I don't know maybe maybe it'll go mark get marked down I don't know I mean like they got the e-web one you got the fifth brother or no that's Grand Inquisitor you got the Dark Trooper you got Boba Fett and those are all five bucks I really wish that one wasn't a bunch of black series a bunch of black series we got Megs Mayfield and both of his field or things there they got a bunch of the black chrysanthemums oh there you go TVC black chrysanthemum that's what all these are oh no there's an a uh, there's an Ahsoka and Grogu one which I bought that like oh six eight months ago for I think 15 bucks and they got it here for five <laughs> patience pays off guys I'm telling you and there's a bunch of those you got a bunch of the black chrysanthemums I actually saw uh, Dengar. I actually saw him at Ross for six bucks today. I uh, got Val Sartha. Admiral Holdo's been here forever. They've got uh, Omega from the first season. Uh, and there's another one here. Let's see, where is he? Oh, here he is. Yeah, they got Baze Malbus. Tempted by that one. And I did pick up this set here, the Incinerator Trooper and Grogu. I did pick up one of those. Kind of tempted to pick up another one just for the Trooper and the flame effects. So I might do that. I don't know yet. But I'm still tempted by Baze. I haven't picked him up yet. Um, that's what it. They actually do have two of the Captain Carter shields at 60. They got these much later than the other stores. And they got uh, some of these Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, but it's only the spot. I was hoping for Miles, but that was a long shot. So, yeah. Then they got a bunch of the Marvel Legends, or the, yeah, Marvel Legends figures. Valkyrie from Thor and Love and Thunder. It's a pretty cool likeness. Good look, good likeness of her. A crappy movie, but it's a good, they got a couple good figures out of it. And, uh, oh, yep, they got X-Men Rogue. They got the Rogue. Oh, there she is. Sorry about that. They got that one. Uh, they have Killmonger. I actually did pick up the Red Skull and, um, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. uh um, Gamora, Warrior Gamora from that, from that wave. Just because they're cool. They don't really fit with necessarily my, uh, collection for, um, for uh, Galactus, but they're cool. But yeah, that's it for Ollie's. Not much. I mean, some a couple of new things here in the past couple of weeks. The shield and a couple of the other figures. So, yeah. But like I said, people, patience pays off. It may not be that way six months from now, but I would gamble that it probably will. This is probably going to go on for about a year, is my guess, because of the you know, the, the, the economy, the inflation, the way it is and stuff like that. People are really being careful about what they buy. So patience will pay off, I think, with a lot of collectibles in, in certain areas. Not necessarily some stuff, of course. But yeah. Anyway, um, share the video, like, and subscribe if you like my content. I'll be putting out more stuff. And I, as soon as I get my area set up, I'm going to be doing some unboxings. And it's going to be really soon. All right. May the force be with you. Have a good one, everybody. Yeah, I don't know if that um, other video is going to work out. I'm going to have to dub over it. But I had a... One of the cool things about shopping at Ollie's is they send you coupons occasionally. So recently, I got a 30% coupon off. So I got this Star Wars Legends Rise of the Sith hardcover book. Here, I'll back out a little bit. Give you a better look at it. And this is an omnibus. This bugger is heavy. Uh, the original price... The original price on here was $125. Ollie's price was $30. And with a 30% off coupon, ugh, I got it for $22. So, yeah, great deal. So, you know, make sure whenever you go into Ollie's, register for that rewards card because you get random coupons for stuff. 
And like I said, I, I got this 30% off one. So it's only good for one item, but still, I got another 10% off of my whole purchase coupon sitting at home. So yeah, check out your Ollie's. And if you don't have an Ollie's in your area, uh, maybe write to the company and say, hey, we need an Ollie's in our area. They might open up one there. All right, have a good one, folks. And may the force be with you.